Hey guys, I'm Cinderkey and I'm back with Sam. Hi guys. And she's trying again to teach me how to play The Sims. All right, uh, we were building a house, right? Yes. Okay, so um, she gave me the lowdown. Lowdown, what am I saying? She gave me the 411, I'm not gonna stop saying that. She taught me a little <laughs> bit. She made it so I know things. Yes, that's a good way of describing it. I taught you a little bit off screen so you knew. So it wouldn't it wouldn't be one big video of like this is this, this is that, because you know that's gonna take for freaking ever. Right. So we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, how do I I grab and drag? Yep. Ah, uh, okay. And then put up against the wall and boom. Okay. And then click, and then click and drag to go out. Okay. Um, right. I, yeah, and like I said, I recommend doing your doors into every room and all that kind of stuff first. <clears throat> So I need to do that way, you know, that. yeah, that way you kind of know where you can place things like when you go to furnish the house. Is this is this kind of like standard sim person? No, like in Pokemon, you have to know fire, fire beats grass, grass beats water, water beats fire. So mm -hmm. like, is this kind of like standard sim type uh, no, information it's, for people who play <clears throat> the Sims? No, because, you know, I am an avid watcher of sims builders oh you watch. i am yes yeah. i am not anywhere close to like a good sim builder i kind of just build for what is necessity for the type of sim that i have okay um so there's no the best part about playing the sims is there's no right or wrong it's the way that you want to play it um okay. and so some people build from inside out some people build um from roof to floor. Some people build like all kinds of crazies all over the place. Um, but it's it's pretty much how you adapt the game to yourself. Um, um, okay. Uh, that, that's really cool. I'm sorry. Uh, I just got distracted. What do we want the bedroom to be connected to the living room? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, a doorway then? Yeah. Uh, what kind of doorway should we have? I'll leave it up to you. Uh, um, so I'm thinking something <laughs> smaller. I mean, there's there's all kinds. Like, um, you have a little uh, filter section up here. Oh, there? Um, yeah. So if you want to kind of oh, stick with okay. Island Living um, and you click back out of that. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, and you go to Packs. Oh, okay. If you scroll down just a little bit, oh, um, Island Living, I think, is the last one. So if you click on that and then click the check mark, it gives you all the doors for Island Living. Oh, it gives it, Like, it gives you all those things. Okay. That's yeah. cool. Uh, which is, is what kind of allows you to kind of keep with. I do your like I do island. like these doors. Can so we? So if you wanted to get rid of the front door and use that in place of it, seems how it's I a two door. Could, but I kind of like the idea of like me personally. I wouldn't want this kind of door as my front door because it has. It's open. It's yeah. Open. I yeah, like yeah. a solid. But this as an indoor, I like because yeah. it's airy and it makes like it it makes it like the house breathes. So exactly. Speak. Okay, yeah. so against the wall, I'm thinking. Yeah. Um. Because that kind of gives you two spaces to the left of the door. Uh huh. To put a desk or a bookshelf or a TV exactly. um, or something like that. So those are the things you kind of have to become. Oh, you did it. Okay, I was thinking of this part to be an archway, just an open archway into the kitchen. Yeah. So. If you um, click the X on that one, yep, okay. it brings up all your doors. So I think the archways are kind of at the bottom. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Anything, two things. So that one is going to be a single door. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Can we, uh, and then we'll adjust the colors after? Yeah, so if you actually hit the color swatch. Oh, that's what this is? Yep. Okay. And then you'll have to pull your walls up. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you, you showed me this, but I can't. Oh, I, click I it up twice. It yeah, there you okay. go. And then if you click on the archway, it allows you to change oh, the color okay. of it. Do we want, uh, what kind of color do we? I mean, you you said when we were kind of wood, getting wood ready, color. you wanted to um, do something a little wacky and fun. Yeah. Even though we're in, like, island What would be areas. wacky and fun then? So the best part about the island living pack is that there is some pretty wacky wallpapers mm. color wise um, which I think would be really fun to kind of do on the outside with a tone with, like with deep dark colored doors so you want the doors to match that so that would be like what this black or... like black or dark brown is, is this black and blue I honestly it looks like I'm, blue, one's black, black and, and one's like a light 
black. They both look like. <laughs> I would do like a dark brown. Okay. I think it's a good color. Yep, Can and I then click on, click on a, any part of that, and I think that, yep, yeah, that one, nope, down. Yep, I think that one matches it. And then same thing with the front door. Like, obviously, you want to change the color of the front door. Yeah, that looks pretty dang close. Um, okay, front door. Yeah. And you want to go with a dark brown, one more to your right. Uh, this one. Yep. Yeah, that kind of looks, and it matches uh, yep. that. Okay. No, I like it. I like it. That's good. So now you get to do the door into the bathroom. Okay. Spin, spin, spin. Um, this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that's going to be your select option, which makes oh, it a little easier for okay, you to move around. Okay, that yep. makes a lot easier. Yep. Um, okay, so I should click the doors again. Yep. For, so for this, because it is our, it, it is the bathroom, uh -huh. so you can do a couple of different things. You can do a normal door. Um, mm -hmm. There's a couple cool island living doors. Or um, if you go up, that one's my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's a sliding Huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's not it bad. It slides back and forth. So it's like an archway with a piece of wood that slides back and forth. It's um, kind of cool. I w yeah, I would do that one. This one? No, to this your one. left. Yeah. It's kind of like a nice, deep, okay. dark, chocolatey brown. Yeah, that's color. fun. Yeah. Um. So now what I like to do is I like to kind of do the whole outside. Like paint the outside. Complete do the foundation the outside. of the outside. Put your windows, all that kind of stuff, and then I like to work. So I like to work from the outside in. Okay, that makes sense. And then um, from outside in, I like to kind of focus one room at a time. Okay, so I say we should have uh, a window here, and okay. then probably like a window here, which we will eventually, when we get more money, build into like a balcony area, like right. add a deck, and then right. we'll have another one of these sets of doors right here, right. and then it'll be open. It's like ah dolphins or something like that you know um eventually and then add like a uh i'm um, hopefully we can add a uh a word <clears throat> uh, an office add an office and maybe a larger okay. uh so now you kind of get to pick which which windows you want to do so island living comes with a lot of cool ones um ones that are already kind of like pre-open mm-hmm uh -huh. Um, so if you click on your filter again, oh, you can I filter through island be... living. So those are all your island living windows. This one is my favorite because okay. it's an entire, like, open oh. hole. Oh my gosh, that's just a... Um, it's not the best to do in the living room simply because it, like, it's hard now because you've kind of taken up your whole wall space. Yeah. Um, but these ones are really cool too. They're kind of just, I don't know if shutter is the right word, but it matches the door to where it's just kind of like open, but should, not like. Should we like put two there and then two here? I would do simply because, I mean, I mean, you can do it either way. It kind of depends on what you want your inside of your living room to look like. So if you want a mounted TV, if you want like that kind of stuff, you have to be aware of like uh, where you're okay. putting those um, things. My question is, can we put like. I'm not to TV right here. Yeah, so what I would do is and then I, I would can put one here. Put both windows. I'd put all the windows to the living room on the front of the house. Uh, okay. And leave that side wall empty. Okay. Because you have your doors into your bedroom there. Okay. So Yeah, I would do that. And then if you click your cruiser. This thing? Yep. And then you click that, and you can roll it over to the sell page. Yep. And then sell it for 60 bucks. So you okay. get your money back. Um, now, now you just have, have to change the colors. Now we have these nice things that are here, and they're cool. Which one was the dark brown again? That one. This one? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. I like it. Um, uh, other windows. Uh, yep. Kitchen needs one. Yep. Um, I'm thinking something that's kind of nice, but it's also very, like... That one's nice. Um, like the sink it. could go yeah. right, right um, underneath the opening. Yeah. Should we do it like in the middle, kind of? Well, if you scroll, if you right click and and uh, yep, then you can kind of see what your placement is. I can't knock down the wall because it's still. You can do a half wall. So if you click it and then click it again. Ah, oh, okay, that's a lot go. better. Um, so that that theoretically is the middle. Okay. Um, and that's actually perfect placement because your counter goes up to where just under that and you put your sink Do you want to do like, um, 
have an island, not not to make fun, but have an island inside the kitchen and... Uh, you don't have enough space because you only have three. Because where's the have... dining room going to go? Where's the, not the dining so room, but where's the, the, the table going to go? The eating go? place? Well, you can do a couple of different things. So you can do like kitchen in the first half, so like your, your uh, and fridge this first half and your, the... yeah, and then you can put a table at the end. Because we there's like little two seaters and three seaters. Okay, that you then can shouldn't make. we put this closer to here? That would right be here. good. Yeah, like right okay. there. Yep. Okay, so that's. And that. then you need to put one in the bathroom and the bedroom. Okay. Um. Do we have a nice like a little bit of privacy? Uh, Those ones are pretty cool. Because they're just they're just little pop ups. So I would put it um in the middle, and then like up a little bit. Like two here. No, so you're, you're going to have to go back to your cruiser and then click on it and go up a little bit. Just, nope, just click. There, there you go. Down. There you go. Like right here? Yep. Just put one there. Just because that way it's not like, I mean, obviously you're not going to have someone coming in and peeking in your windows. That's not how The Sims works. Yeah. But, but you know, it, like, I think realistically when I'm building, I'm thinking yeah, like, yeah. would no, I want I get, my I, house to have a window I right here? I understand that. <laughs> um, and then for me, I really like the shuttered type ones for like the bedroom because it gives you privacy these ones again yeah well i like that too because then you're matching with the other yeah theme. and it like it gives you privacy um, but you know it doesn't really so i would do like one either two or three into it and then one at the like yeah just to kind of give it a little bit of natural light but like not super crazy yeah. because if you have your bed positioned in the middle of that yeah you know then you kind of get like some air on either side okay um should we add one for now and then eventually take it out and add the glass doors right here. I would do two back to back. I would do one and another one right there. Yep. And then we'll eventually replace yep. those with glass doors. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, so then we just need to color the outside of the house. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So we need to color. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm doing the thing with this. The... Oh. Look <laughs> got it because you uh, purchased it. Uh, <laughs> Sell it. There go away, go. door. <laughs> um, okay. So let's paint oh uh, this one yep she's pointing so you can't see but she's pointing <laughs> so you're gonna things. hit the infinity sign okay. and it's gonna show you all of the ones you have for oh gosh so god have mercy if you go one more to um, your right this is the wallpaper that i absolutely love and if you go back over it and you highlight those click on them it gives you all the color options of like the bright wallpaper that the Sims creators have made, and it's absolutely this amazing. Nice. I love that blue. Um, and then if you actually hold down Shift, oh, um, okay, yep, and click, it's gonna do that whole room that color on the outside. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, my, but be careful oh, because if you push, uh, push Shift and scroll in and out. Okay. It'll make you go really fast. Okay. So let go of Shift every time you do it. So click and Shift, click and then let go of Shift. There you go. So the whole outside okay. should now be that pretty oh, blue. Oh, it's nice. Offset by the deep brown. Oh, remind me. You have to change the color of those windows. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do that right now. Yep. Uh, so you're going to... Nope. 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 Right there. Right there. Yep. So you're going to click... Uh, color swatch, I think. Color swatch. Uh, and then it's that brown. This one. Yep. The one in the middle. That one. Yep. The one in the middle. And then gotcha. you have to do the same thing with three windows back here. Gotcha. One more to the right. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And then do you have to change that one too? Yep. So that one. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. okay. I like I like that blue. Uh, I'm with you. That's really That's nice. That's a really nice blue. That's a really, um, really nice blue. So now, blue. because we're still kind of doing the outside, now you need to figure out what you want to do for a foundation. So you're going to click on that foundation button. Yep. Okay. Um, now, they brought, in Island Living, they brought a stilted foundation. So if you want to do stilted, which means it's above the water, uh -huh. uh, if you click, yep, click the X, and you scroll down, you've got two stilted foundations. These are now part of base game, which is okay. really cool. Um, and it's also the same thing, so it's going to be by room. It's automatically going to apply. So one of them, the one you're on now is a round stilted okay. foundation. The one to the left is a square foundation. So you kind of just have to figure out, do you want the stilted part to be square? Like that. Uh, I see. Or do you want it to be round? Okay, I see. Um, and then you also have color swatches for those as well. 
Uh, okay, let's apply color So, um, I would probably say that dark brown one is probably the closest. Yeah. And then you just do it, yep, per room, and then scroll to the other side and do it the same way. I like the way that the blue is offset by the dark brown. Like, it looks really good together. It does already look, like, really <laughs> nice in the way. It looks like it could almost, like, blend into the water if you looked kind of Yeah, it. it looks really good. Yeah, oh, I like it. Um, So now you can do, like, if you kind of want lights on the outside of the house um, and that kind of stuff. Because you've pretty much you painted the outside. I'm not much for landscaping. I watch some... Um, Sims creators who I'm, are I don't, all about I don't the care about the beach right now. I think eventually I want to add like some shrubbery in here, but we're keeping to a certain amount of money, and I know right. the kitchen is going to be super expensive. <laughs> um, Everything is. <laughs> uh, so let's let's do the interior as far as like let's do the wallpaper and let's the do the wallpaper. Oh, the wallpaper. Let's do the roof first. So the outside okay. is 100 percent done. Okay, um, so you are gonna click your up arrow. Oh, okay, this and then yep. that. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna click on the roof. Okay. Yep. Um, and you have obviously all these options. So your first three are okay. your your pretty generic roof types. Okay. Um, so you have um, so you've got your half gabled roof, you've got your hipped roof, and then you've got your normal gabled roof. So okay. um, any of those are are just really nice. So that's a half one, um, or you have a full gabled roof. Yep. It's just okay. like that. And all you have to do is click, and then this is all you're dragging. So you're going to drag. Ah. Yep. And then drag forward. Yep, there you go. Oh, that's um, And then your arrow on top kind of pulls the roof up and down. So if you click on it, you can kind of make it a little bit flatter, or you can make it taller. I like it flat. I do too. Um, and How do then, I make this blue the same blue? So if you go to your eyedropper to the okay. left, yep, and you click on it, and go up. If you hit shift, it'll do the same thing as well. Ah, okay. Yeah. So now you have to go to the back. Ooh, back of the house. So keep scrolling. Okay, keep scrolling. How, how do I, how there do I... you go. Keep going. There you go. And then just kind of scroll out. Okay. The top of it's already blue, so you're fine. Okay. So I did I did accidentally do yep. all the things right. So you're going to go to your cruiser. Uh, you can scroll in because now you kind of get to pick uh, the roof do... type. My roof type? Oh, okay. So you're going to click on the textured roof. Oh, yep. this part. Okay. Um, if you scroll down, we do have some really nice thatched roofs now. Okay. So you've got your shingle and you have your truck. Wait, why does it say zero? Because it doesn't cost anything. Oh! Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And then you also have a couple of color swatches. It's like a nice dark. Or you've got that brown. Let's see. Um, doesn't look like it quite other. matches that one. Uh, it might be closer, but I don't know. It's still try the medium out. brown one. That one looks yeah, a little bit Yeah, that better. one's it. Um, and then if you click on, I don't know, an E. Is it eaves? This thingy? Yeah. Roof, Roof. trims. That's what it is. Okay. And you go to the last oh. one, and then you do hit the same brown, the middle one. Yep. And then you go over it. There you go. It's going to give you kind of that overhang. Ooh, okay. Yeah. How do I, um, how do I scroll, um, mm -hmm. down to the, because I was, never mind. It's at the good position. Never mind. Never mind. I, 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 got, I got it where I wanted. Okay. Um, okay. So the outside is done. done. Okay. So the outside is done. Yeehaw. Okay. Oops, so uh, down. Yep. So now you want to do your flooring. And your oh wallpaper. Gosh. Okay, so let's first pick. Uh, car I'm I'm all for wood. Um, is is it this? Yep. Okay. Um, so uh, my new favorite flooring when it comes to wood, if you scroll down, okay, is this one that came with Island Living, the curly wood. It is, and um, it's just the perfect wood texture. Yep. And then same thing. You can just hit shift. Um, and you'll see a little bit better when we have lights in the actual, we don't have lights in there right now. I'm not picky on wallpaper. Uh, the only wallpaper that I don't really like is, uh, white, just because I've always had white walls. As I pick the white wallpaper. 
<laughs> I mean, if, if it's like an off cream, that's okay, but... I also like some stuff with some borders. Like, these ones are really nice, especially mm. if, you know... But it's also dark. That's the uh, problem. I see. That's the problem I'm running into. I mean, that one's not too bad, but it's white on brown. Brown on... Brown on white? White on brown? Whatever that variation is. Mm, let's do this one. I like it. So I'm thinking kitchen and living room, and then I'm with the thinking border, okay. with the border, and then I'm thinking like we wanted to do a pop of color. So do we want to do like a um, yellow? I was okay with the one before actually. This one? Um, yeah, just because that's color. it's kind of bright, and that is going to be the room that leads to the balcony. Right, and then Eventual. I figured like maybe a blue in there. Blue is good for bathrooms, yeah. Okay. Um. And I'm gonna do some lighting just because I want to be able to get. Okay. Um. I want us to have some nice light. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheat because these oh, are you're shrinking it? these are godly sized lights. Yes. So if you hit shift and left bracket. Yeah. At the same time, it uh, shrinks the. Oh, okay. Shrinks the light sizes, which makes it to where you can put a bunch of them in here. Which I always do because it's nice to kind of light up the room and kind of see where you've got oh, everything Oh, wow. Going. I can actually see the texture of the wood now. Yeah. So if okay. I scroll in all the way, you can see Holy the nice moly. texture okay, yeah. of you the can't, wood. It's just because of all the grid and the lines and stuff. That, yeah. Okay. And I am, I don't know how to undo the grid. But I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. We kind of need it for now. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, so far, so good. Okay. Um... What, 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 are are we looking at? Let, what are we looking at? What are we looking at the whole house? Let me see. That's not bad. So there's your outside. So the, so the outside's done. So the house itself, not counting the furnishings, is done. Done. Yep. So it, from complete outside and then your whole paint on the inside. I think I want to do this color in the bathroom too. Or you think that's too much? I think I'm, that might be too much. Yeah. Little bit too okay. much. Okay. Um... But I like it. I think it looks cute. No, it's, it is very cute. It, it's a very, I'm actually, I, again, I like the outside. I really <laughs> like that blue on the outside. I like the paneling. It, it adds a very it nice rustic. It, it, it has that cabin feel to me with all the yeah. wood, the, the wood on the, uh, the decking, the small decking. That is the step. <laughs> um, but I like it. It's really, it's really cool. Um, but I think, I think that's it for now as far as time. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and click the bell so you know whenever I upload. And again, let us know in the comments how I, I'm doing in learning this. And if you have any suggestions, of course, leave them there. Um, bye. Bye.